There is Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Jay Sparrow Start Programming. My name is Ben and today I have a brand new Learn to Code episode for you guys. In today's episode, I want to talk about a question that gets asked a lot. We are very often asked, I have now internalized all the basics and also advanced concepts so I can work with this programming language. But where do I go from here? How should I continue to learn? Which tutorials should I watch? Which courses are there? And so on and so forth. And that's a question that in my opinion contains a misconception. Very very many people think that learning to program always works the same way. It is also correct at the beginning. In the beginning, you first learn what variables are, how to create those variables, how to build a program flow using control structures for example, using if statements or learning how to build loops and so forth. You also learn how to create and work with data structures like arrays and that's right. You always learn these things the same way, but at a certain level you've also learned the advanced concepts of a language and you get to a point where you have to work with that programming language. Because there are still countless things to learn. A programmer doesn't really stop learning at any point, it's more of constant improvement, but after a certain amount of progress you can no longer say, okay, I've got all the basics now, next I have to learn this. Then I have to learn exactly that and after that I have to acquire knowledge in exactly this topic. So I think you get what I mean. At a certain point there is simply no longer a predetermined path that you can take. There is simply no longer this one tutorial, this one YouTube playlist what you have to learn to become a professional and you can't follow a standard blueprint anymore. Of course, there are also advanced tutorials and courses that teach very specific things, but once you've learned the basics of a programming language, you have to think about what you actually want to do now. In which area do you want to program something? And then, you have to get to work. And when you work, you will realize that you still have to learn in order to be able to implement the project. For example, you now know all the basics of a programming language and want to develop a program that has a graphical user interface. First of all, you have to deal with the development of graphical user interfaces. And that of course is a very specific topic and a story of its own. Someone else now wants to develop their own program too. So they learned all the basics of a programming language and this program does not require the development of graphical user interface because it is for example a service program that simply runs in the background of the operating system. Of course. These have completely different requirements where you have to learn completely different specific things. And that's exactly what I want you to realize. At a certain stage, there is no one-size-fits-all path in the programmer's career. Things are no longer served to you on a silver platter and you have to see for yourself which things you still have to acquire, which concepts you have to familiarize yourself with in order to be able to realize the things you want to realize. You have to learn new things with every project you tackle. That's why I say a programmer never stops learning, because you learn something new with every project you implement. But at a certain point you should stop looking for theoretical knowledge that you can absorb, but you should go into practice, implement your own projects and really make sure that you learn something new with every project. And that's what you will do in most cases. So this is very very important and the point that needs to be realized. At some point, the path will no longer be given to you and yes, there are also advanced courses here on YouTube and we will also bring some content about this topic. So you can learn how to develop a GUI in C Sharp and Java, but you might come across a project that requires you to also learn how to use design patterns and those are a completely separate subject area that has its very own requirements which will then again be a topic that is 12 to 15 hours long at least. You could also fill huge books on the subject and that's just something that has to be realized. There are hundreds of specific topics that you can learn to become an even better programmer but you will see in practice which things you have to learn directly. Of course there are also things like design patterns that always make sense because there are solution templates that provide solutions to recurring problems. And of course, it's the same with GUIs. Everyone who programs a lot should deal with it at some point because GUIs can be used from time to time in a variety of projects. Therefore, it is always useful to know how to program a GUI, but one should not imagine that there is a fixed predetermined path. Finally, if you have already learned all the basics and you are a Java programmer, I would like to refer you to Jay Sparrow. 
JSparrow is an Eclipse IDE and Maven tool that you can use in your development environment and help you enormously with advanced and beginner problems. JSparrow helps you to find and fix code bugs, sustain clean code and remove code smell. But that's not everything. JSparrow has 89 life markers to help you learn Java best practice as you write your code. As mentioned, JSparrow is suitable for beginners as well as advanced users. The best thing about JSparrow is that it comes with a free trial version which you can use at any point. And no, you don't have to provide a credit card or anything else. If this interests you, just click the link in the video description and get the free version. On our website jsparrow.io, there is also a documentation section where you can look at how each of our specific rules work. With that in mind, that's it for the video. If you liked it, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss anything. With this in mind, I wish you a nice day, have fun programming and goodbye.